is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. January the 6th. This is Friday, and we're looking at the Dow for this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's up 220 at 33,154. Read the uh, economic report. That's kind of a mixed report. Slight bias uh, to the positive side market-wise. And uh, there was a big opening spike and then a pullback. But my contention continues that we're stuck in a range that a rectangle formation can last, can last a lot longer than your patience. We're anticipating a rally towards the 33,000. Maybe today's high is 33,350. Maybe trying for the 33,390 to 33,420 area. And then maybe at that point, instead of breaking out, we come back down just for a couple of days. We're going sideways as so far, looking at the S&P, not the same chart formation. The S&P at this particular point is uh, trading uh, up 22. Now, that's fascinating because the E-mini had a huge spike earlier on and then it pulled back and we went in the S&P up to the 14 period exponential moving average, pulled back a little bit. It's stuck in a range at this particular point looking at the QQQ. So uh, the QQQs were much weaker and they almost made a lower low than they had uh, just about uh, a week ago and they're trading at uh, 262.35 up 77 cents. Without the SMHs, the semiconductors moving sharply higher, and right now they're up $1.55 at $2.0448. I think we just kind of stuck, and that's going to be our clue. Do you get the, the NASDAQ 100 and the SMHs, the semiconductors, to move higher? That's what you need to go with the Dow moving high. Looking at the IWM, same thing, small caps. <clears throat> A holding steady, not bad, up $1.67 at 175. We're looking at the the gold. Gold, of course, looked like it was in a pullback sharply yesterday, which it did, but it held the four, it held the nine period, the green nine period moving average, holding beautifully. It's up 16 at 1856. Uh, very good action when you consider the dollar trying to move much higher. The dollar was up um, 0.04. Now it's down 0.04 at 105.11. Hit the 200 period moving average. That became resistance. Look at crude oil. Crude oil <clears throat> is still quite weak. It's up 55 cents at 74.19. And the TLT, that's going to be interesting because the TLT is running, so yields are coming down a bit. Stay tuned for the Tiger Technicians Hour and check out my opening call daily newsletter. I'll be back in a moment. Hope you can stay. Otherwise, have a great weekend. In any case, have a great weekend. <laughs>